up you guys it's Sedona welcome back to my channel so I had a question asked about do I get to like do I have to stay up all the time on my 24 hour shift um, and the answer is no that's bananas but I wanted to talk to you guys about everything that I do on a 24 hour shift and just kind of where I'm at in my life right now in terms of all of the specialties that I'm covering because it actually is a lot when I think about it but uh, that is the beauty of being a PA I can cover different specialties at the same time um, um, in 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 my career um, and I love it uh, because it just keeps me in the know so if you're interested in becoming a PA and you're interested in covering different specialties this video is for you let's get into the video right now Hi, what's up you guys? It's Zidana. Welcome back to my channel. So as I said, no, I do not um, have to stay up 24 hours when I'm on my 24 hour shift. And uh, that's great because, you know, 24 hours is a long time. And I'm there from pretty, like, at oftentimes, like 6.30 in the morning to about like 10 10 30 the next day um and that's because it it just depends on which specialty i'm on so as you guys knew know i switched from trauma primarily to OBGYN primarily because that is where i've always wanted to be and um in doing so like the times that i started switch so when i would come in for trauma i would always come in around like 6 36 like 6 20 uh just to kind of get myself ready and prepared look at the list look and see who's there what i may need to be doing for the day and then we usually have sign out with everybody on the team at 7 30. With OBGYN, it's a little bit different for the women's health aspect because we don't have sign out until eight and then it's a little less um, in terms of me trying to like get used or, or, or know like what somebody is doing or where they're at because a lot of these women aren't staying like weeks at a hand, right? So in my trauma situations, a lot of the patients have been there for days, weeks, um, new things are happening on a consistent basis. You know, somebody's getting a CT with IV contrast, somebody's getting a CT with PO contrast, somebody may be getting QAM chest x-rays. When I go to women's health, you know, it's just like, okay, what C-sections do I have for today? Um, you know, did any consults come in overnight that I now need to follow up on from the last team? And so it's a little more structured and a little less like, oh, what do I need to do today? I cover quite Quite a few specialties, you guys. Um, I cover OB, trauma, I cover vascular and thoracic. I also cover the sickle cell clinic now, which is something that I like. And then sometimes we take calls or consults for urology. Uh, that is kind of going to the wayside a little bit because we do have like a urology PA now, a urology team in the hospital. However, at night there was not urology coverage. And so when I was on trauma or whenever I do do cover trauma at night which I'm not quite doing as much anymore um, if a vascular or thoracic console comes in that's us and then if a urology console comes in that's also the trauma team and so uh, there was a lot that we were doing and I love it because at the end of the day like I get to like have my hands in in different pots right and I get to like keep my skills up um, procedure skills you know just being able to kind of triage patients and figure out like what's going on you know understanding like big ticket things like I remember there was one time when I got called for uh, a patient that had a bleeding fistula like I don't remember if the patient had like picked the scab or what but all of a sudden like somehow the fistula was now bleeding and when I came in like they were like very much like oh yeah you know it's bleeding I don't know like what to do and I was like okay let me take a look at it because it was very like wrapped up and I opened it up and then blood just like shot up at me you guys and I was like oh so like I covered it back and then I'm like looking at this patient's hand and it's getting kind of like blue pulses are a little bit weak so I had to call my attending those are the moments where you're like oh my gosh like what do I know 
what needs to happen? This patient needs to go to the OR. This needs to be like ligated or tied off and there needs to be like a new, a new fistula form made or created for this patient. And so I had to call my attending and it was like a big thing and we we're like, oh yeah, you know, let's go to the OR now within an hour. Um, and so we were able to do that. But these are the things that I love. I love being able to like, you know, put in chest tubes or, um, you know, open up an abdomen and take out a baby and see life. Um, so those are some of the things that I'm doing in terms of the various different specialties and it's something that you can do too as a PA and that's the beauty of being a PA, being able to just go from specialty to specialty or not even like go from specialty to specialty. I'm still in the same hospital system, right? I'm still in the same hospital but I'm just kind of like just tiptoeing around different areas of the hospital. You may see me in the sickle cell clinic one day you may see me doing vascular another day. Um, I may be helping you uh, get your baby out or I may be putting a, a chest tube in your chest. You know, it, it really doesn't matter what you're going to see. Adana um, and doing all of those various different things and it is great. Um, so I definitely think that if you if slash when you do become a PA, uh, it's important to kind of not pigeonhole yourself. And so obviously when you're an outpatient, it's a little bit more difficult to kind of just go from here to here to here to here. Um, but you do have the opportunity to like, you know, get a PRN or a part-time job in other aspects of healthcare, be it like urgent care or the hospital system. And then that way you're able to just kind of keep some skills up so that you aren't like just the master of that one trade, you're able to actually like, you know, see things uh, in different settings. You know, you're gonna know what to do if like some emergency happens because you've been working in like trauma or emergency medicine or urgent care versus, you know, you've just kind of been in primary care your entire time. So that is like one thing that I'm doing. I don't sleep all, all night and, and I don't, and I'm not up all night. There are nights when I am awake, like the majority of the night. And that may be because I have an emergency C-section or I have a lot of consults going on um, with trauma. It was, we had a lot, of, uh, a lot of consults and a lot of traumas coming through the hospital. But for the most part, um, I do get to like, pop down like maybe sleep for an hour or so before like I get called by a nurse or I have to go see a patient or something along those lines so it is like pretty kind of it can be taxing throughout the 24 hours but I do get to rest I'm not up all night um and then I, I wouldn't trade it for the world you guys it's like the best thing because I get to like go on vacation and not have to take PTO I get to spend time with my kids and my husband um who I love dearly so I want to make sure that I I'm able to like spend time with the family you know that I, I've chosen and so that is one of the beauties of my my job my career um, and that is one thing that I love about being a PA and that is why I always you know if you guys have the opportunity to shadow or see somebody in the profession I think it's always important for you to go do that so that you're able to see what works for you and if this is really the career for you because it is not for everyone and so I just want you guys to remember that but that is me in a nutshell all of these different PAs I am right now and um, at the same time just loving life um, so I I think it's great. So if you are interested in becoming a PA, just drop me another question, um, any questions that you may have in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Island PA and on Instagram at Get That's University. Again, you guys, there are some amazing things happening this summer, so you definitely need to stay tuned to my channel to hear about all of the things happening for you as a pre-PA, PA student, and a PAC. Um, if you haven't already done so, like this video and um, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.